Hi, welcome to the embedded system into preparation boot camp. I am Rahul and I have spent 14 years working in embedded systems for product based companies in automotive, IoT and semiconductor. In this course, I am going to help you prepare for interviews the way companies like Texas Instrument, Intel or Qualcomm actually test you. This is not about memorizing the definition or solving textbook problem. It's about learning to think like an embedded engineer. And in this first module of embedded C, we are going to uncover the number one reason why candidates fail interviews even though they already know C. You already know C, right? You have written hello world loops, maybe some projects. But let me ask you this. Why do 80% of embedded interviews fail at just C programming? It's not because candidate don't know syntax. It's because interviewer twists the basics. They don't ask what is a pointer. They ask what happens if I dereference a null pointer inside an ISR. That's where most candidate panic. And that's why we are here today. Before going into the deep dive of embedding embedded system C programming, let's first understand why C is important for embedded system interviews. So C is the backbone of embedded system interviews where whether you apply for automotive, IoT, consumer electronics or semiconductors, interviewer know that if you are strong in C, you can be trained in RTOS, Linux, drivers or MCU. But if your C is weak, no matter how many projects or buzzwords you put on your resume, you will struggle. At Texas Instrument, I once saw a brilliant fresher who knew you are an SPI and other protocols, but he failed because he couldn't explain the difference between static and extern. That's how critical the embedded C is. So now let's analyze why 80% of the candidate fail in embedded C interview itself. The very first reason is they just revise college notes or they just study concepts on very high level without going into the deep. That is the main reason that is why that is the main reason they are not able to answer the tricky questions in the interview. And the second thing is even if they know the answers but freeze when asked to explain. They are not even able to explain basic questions because of the confidence gap. And the third is keyword like volatile function pointers or bitwise operator. They skip them because they feel it's a bit advanced or sometimes they are fearing they have fear of reading about these concepts in interviews you may be asked to debug 10 lines of code if you have never debugged on real hardware or emulator you will freeze here is the truth interviewer don't care if you know every protocol they care if you can think and see under pressure let's see how interviewer twist questions they don't ask what is volatile. They ask if I remove volatile from a flag in ISR communication, what will happen? They don't ask what is a pointer. They ask can you store ISR address in a function pointer? Show me how. They don't ask what is static. They ask why is static dangerous inside recursion? This is where candidate who just memorize theory fail. But if you have practiced embedded style C problem, you will stand out. Let me share a quick story. During my early days, I went to an interview at a semiconductor company's company. The interviewer asked me to explain me memory corruption in 20 lines of code. I froze. Not because I didn't know C, because I had only studied from books. I had never tried debugging. That, that day I realized embedded interviews are not about what you read. They are about how you think and debug. And that is the mindset I want you to carry into this course. 
so how to prepare in the right way so don't study c like a student study it like an engineer preparing for a battle when you see a keyword like const ask yourself where does this this keyword can be used in real world projects always map all the concepts whatever you are reading to the real world mcu example flags register interrupt memory layout all those concept you need to map to the real world projects or the real world mcu's example practice explaining the answers to yourself the way you are already in the interview and remember you are not preparing for an exam you are preparing for a conversation with a senior engineer who wants to know if you can solve a real problem in this module we are going to cover core c concepts that interview twist real world debugging demos we are going to have with that i am going to share the stories from my 14 plus years of experience in embedded systems but your job is job is not just to watch it i want you to pause write code and then explain every single concept to yourself because passive learning means failing in the interviews and active learning means offer from product based companies so let's wrap up this session if you remember only one thing you don't fail interviews because you don't know c you fail because you don't know how interviewer twist it in the next chapter we will dive into c fundamental not the boring college style but the embedded interview style by the end you will not only know the answers you will also know how to think like an embedded engineer let's get started